Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we shall discuss division of algebraic expressions as some laws of exponents are used in the division of algebraic expressions. We will revise them. From the laws of exponents, We have x raised to power m divided by x raised to power n is equal to x raised to power m minus n, where m and n are positive integers. And m is greater than n. Also, x raised to power m into x raised to power n is equal to x raised to power m plus n, where m and n are positive integers, From the above laws, we derive that x raised to power zero is equal to one. Let us now learn how to divide a monomial by a monomial. The rule followed is first divide the numerical coefficients. Then divide the variables using the laws of exponents. And then multiply the results obtained in the first two steps. Now let us divide minus 56 a raised to power 7 b raised to power 4 c raised to power 3 by 8 a square b square c square. In this, the first step is to divide the numerical coefficients. That is, divide minus 56 by 8. Then divide the variables. Using the laws of exponents. Discussed earlier. So here. A raised to power seven, B raised to power four, C raised to power three is divided by A square, B square, C square minus fifty six by eight is equal to minus seven, and A raised to power seven, B raised to power four, C raised to power three divided by A square, B square, C square. Is equal to a raised to power seven minus two, b raised to power four minus two, c raised to power three minus two, which is equal to a raised to power five, b raised to power two, c. Now the third step is to multiply the two results. We get minus seven into a raised to power five 
b raised to power 2 c which is equal to minus 7 a raised to power 5 b raised to power 2 c. Now let us see how a polynomial is divided by a monomial. Divide each term of the polynomial individually by a monomial by using the rules of dividing monomial by a monomial Consider the following example. Divide 24 a square b square c square plus 12 abc by 3ab. Let us solve this. 24 a square b square c square plus 12 abc by 3ab is equal to 24 a square, b square, c square by 3ab plus 12 abc by 3ab which is equal to 8 a raised to power 2 minus 1 b raised to power 2 minus 1 c raised to power 2 minus 0 plus 4 a raised to power 1 minus 1 b raised to power 1 minus 1 c raised to power 1 minus 0 which is equal to 8 a b c raised to power 2 plus 4 c as a raised to power 0 is equal to 1 and b raised to power 0 is equal to 1. To study the division of two polynomials, we will take an example and go through these steps that is to divide 14 minus 17x plus 5x square by x minus 2. We shall follow the following steps. Step 1 is to set up a long division form. and arrange the polynomials in descending order leaving space for the missing terms We get x minus 2 is divided by 5x square minus 17x plus 14. Step 2 is to divide the first term of the dividend. That is 5x square by the first term of the divisor that is x and write the quotient in this way. That is, when we divide 5x square 
by x we get 5x. Step 3 is to multiply the first term of the quotient that is 5x by each term of the divisor that is x minus 2 that is 5x into x minus 2 is equal to 5x square minus 10x and write it below the dividend. Step 4 is subtract like terms and bring down the other left out terms. Now use the remainder minus 7x plus 14 as the new dividend and repeat steps 2 to 4. We get x minus 2 is divided by minus 7x plus 14. The quotient is minus 7 and minus 7 into x minus 2 is equal to minus 7x plus 14. Now after subtraction we get the remainder as 0. Step 6 is to stop when the remainder becomes 0. Or there is no term in the remainder into which the first term of the divisor will divide evenly so the full solution is Now, we can also verify this by using the formula dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder by substituting values in the right hand side of the formula we get x minus 2 into 5x minus 7 plus 0 which is equal to 5x square minus 17x plus 14 which is the dividend Hence, our solution is correct. Let us discuss how brackets are removed from a polynomial. Expressions consisting of 
a nest of brackets must be removed in a particular order as follows by parenthesis curly brackets and then square brackets a bracket with a plus sign before it may be removed without changing the sign of any term and if there is a minus sign then the signs inside the bracket are changed when there is a term before the bracket the bracket is removed by multiplying it with every term in the bracket In this expression we first solve the innermost bracket that is we multiply minus 2 by 4x minus 1 that is the expression will become 5x plus 3 minus 4x minus 2x minus 8x plus 2 now we will solve the curly brackets and we obtain 5x plus 3 minus 4x minus minus 6x plus 2 now we'll open the curly brackets and we get 5x plus 3 minus 4x plus 6x minus 2 now we we'll solve the square bracket and we get 5x plus 3 minus 10x minus 2 which can be written as 5x plus 3 minus 10x plus 2 on further solving we get minus 5x plus 5 this is the final answer This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.